People in the Bluff Park area of Hoover have a new neighbor. And they, they are very excited. It's it's something that they say has been needed up here for a long time. That something? Ice cream. After 47 years in the construction business, David Hare wanted to bring back a little bit of his childhood. He knew nothing about the ice cream business, except he loved it. So uh, I reached out to the National Retailers Ice Creams Association and talked to their executive director and I said, tell me that some of the best ice cream sold in the United States. That's where I found the Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company. After that, it was the most difficult job anyone can imagine. They sent me 24 pints to sample. I had to sample the ice cream. After all that sampling, the Bluff Park Ice Cream Shop rotates through a hundred different flavors. I even got to sample some. Caramel apple pie, ice latte da, cherry Italian ice. For people that are dairy intolerant, yeah. we have our chocolate soy that we have that we have. So it has the texture of ice cream, but is completely dairy free. I would love to try that. Can we give that one a try? Very Absolutely. Picky when mm -hmm. it comes to substitutes. Yep, yep. So there you go. Uh oh, <laughs> so pressure's on. See, I know Do you the like pressure's it? on. <laughs> mm -hmm. The spoon changes colors. Oh my Aren't god, this fun? is really good. We have our Rocky Road here, Munchy Madness, Coconut Almond Bliss. This just got serious. Stop. That one is the most popular in the whole shop. We dive in here, you can see it's a real creamy salted caramel ice cream. And then it has really big chunks of sea salt fudge. And also mixed in there is the cashews in there. So this one has a lot going on. And if you bite into the fudge itself, there's, it actually has a really nice texture of sea salt and robe sea salt pieces in there. So you're getting salted caramel, salted caramel, salted caramel and lots of yummy chocolate and texture. Mouth watering. Another flavor is Zanzibar. One customer thought it was definitely worth the wait. And I said, uh, I'm sorry I'm out of that ice cream, but I just got a huge tractor trailer load of ice cream in, and I have that ice cream on that truck. You'll have to wait about 30 minutes because it has to temper down. It's frozen at minus 15 degrees. I can't even dip it. She said, it is so good, I will wait for that ice cream. So this is this one right here. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, that's goodness. our pride and joy from uh, so having a company named Chocolate Shop Ice Cream. To you have, have to have the good chocolate. So this is what someone waited for 30 minutes for it to thaw so she could have it. All right, don't look at me everyone. I'm, ner I'm embarrassed. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really good. good. Excellent. Oh yeah, you could, yeah, this is not like a regular chocolate. This is delicious. I can see why someone waited 30 minutes for this. this is wonderful. The ice cream is from Wisconsin, but they bring a classic Southern dessert to the table. I always love my mother's and my grandmother's banana pudding. Well, they have a banana custard ice cream that is fabulous. No matter what your favorite flavor of ice cream is, or if you're three or 93. David Hare says he made this shop especially for you. We want it to be uh, kid friendly for the little kids to come in. And I can't tell you how many small children come in and had their very first ice cream here. We have little small little cones that we give the kids just three and under three years old. Uh, they get to pick out their ice cream. And then we've had uh, uh, customers come in here, they're in their 90s. They come in in the wheelchairs and walkers. And I was very thoughtful about, you know, making sure if they're comfortable in here too. And after all that work, the end goal is simple. I want this to become a destination. I want it to become a place that the kids can grow up and remember going there with their grandparents for a special treat, for a big ball game win, or for the birthday parties, or just, you know, just to do something, you know, with the kids and with the, with the grandkids. In Hoover, Lillian Lalo, CBS 42.